Hey, checkers, we're going to do something different today, aren't we? Yeah. What are we going to do? Oil pastels. Yeah, sweet. <laughs> All right, dude, we're gonna do oil pastels today. Yep. That sounds like a lot of fun. We we thought from last week, one of the last drawings we did was... A clown. Yeah, it was a clown, and after we had finished it, we were like, oh man, we need to color this, huh? Yeah. So we thought it would be a lot more fun if we did the coloring with you guys, and to also start doing more videos where we color and we use other uh, media, art media, huh? Yeah. Yeah, we do a ton of drawings, and so we thought we'd start mixing it up. And so this week, we're actually going to be focusing on colors and coloring and painting and stuff like that. Yeah. Cool? So we have our clown right here, and we did something kind of cool with this, huh? Yeah. This is a little secret that you guys can do at home. If you guys have a printer, most a lot of printers these days now have copiers on top, and our printer has one, huh? So mm -hmm. we put our drawing that we did on Friday, and we copied it to another paper, huh? It still looks the same. And it looks the same, that's pretty cool. And the cool thing about what page we put it on was that it's actually thicker. So we used a, a page that's not as thick as um, like cardstock, but it's thicker than regular computer paper and it will hold up more to our oil pastels, huh? And yeah. then you have another one underneath that one, huh? <laughs> What's that one? It's a baby one. <laughs> yeah, the cool thing about doing a copy uh, copy machine is that you can scale it down and you can practice. So you can make hundreds of copies of your clown drawing, but then use them to practice. So you can figure out things like maybe you want to try a blue nose instead of a red nose. Mm -hmm. And after you do the blue nose, you're like, oh, I don't really like the blue nose. You could start over with a different copy, huh? Yeah. And it also protects your original drawing. So you can practice on a smaller one, see all the colors that you want to do. And then once you figure out the colors you like, then you could do it on your, your actual drawing. Mm-hmm. Cool? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so let's get our copies. So we're gonna use our copies. You can put that one off to the side. And we have uh, Pentel oil pastels. I really like these. And we also have a mega one, huh? Yeah, the one that, that has 50. <laughs> yeah, so we have this big one. It's brand spanking new. We're excited to use it. But it has a ton of colors. 50. And we'll, we'll include some links to our website uh, more about oil pastels and where you can buy them. So be sure to check that out in the description of this video. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is actually, we're gonna start with his nose, just like when we started drawing. So go ahead and get a red. All right, first thing we're gonna do is, I, what I want to do is show you guys how to shade with oil pastels. So what I'm doing is doing a really dark line that goes all the way around the nose. A oh, big nose. <laughs> Good job. Do it really dark, as dark as you can be, all the way right up to the edge of his nose. Another thing too about oil pastels is you might get other colors on them and you can use your finger to just rub it off or you can have a paper towel and you can, or a scratch piece of paper works well too. Maybe we'll do that. We'll fold this up and if we need it, <laughs> we can make another copy. Okay. If we need it, if we need to, we can just use this to get the extra color off. Okay, you got your dark color. Mm -hmm. Okay, now the next the next line around is going to be inside of that, but it's going to be a little lighter. So don't go all the way in, but make another line that's about as thick as your oil pastel, but just do a little lighter. Awesome. Now go in one more and do it even lighter than the one before it. Good job. And that's an easy way to just kind of go around like how you did it. And then leave a little dot in the middle. You can go a little more. Awesome. Okay, I'm gonna put the red down and get a white. And I'm gonna show you how to blend. And this is one of my favorite things with oil pastels is blending. I should get you another piece of paper. Let's get you a piece of paper all by yourself over there. This is a scratch piece that we have. We try not to throw away our scratch paper until we actually use it. Good. 
Yeah, you can even use this piece too. Let me, um, oh, that's broken. Yeah, that's why. So, that's and then you can always just peel the paper away. There you go. And you got, there you go. Cool. All right. Got your white ready. I'm going to get, I have a little blue on mine, so I'm going to get that off. All right. Now, what you can do is just go around in a circle and blend all of that red into the center. And it seems like and it be pink. smooths it out. It even, yeah, when you add white to red, it makes what? Pink. Pink. And that's kind of a fun way to shade your nose. If your nose looks too pink and you'd like it to look a little bit more red, get your red again. Okay. After you've smoothed it out. And you can go back over your nose and darken in the edges. What? Or right there. That? So go back in and darken in around the edges. Okay, now let's move on to his hair. Should we do his hair? Yeah. And let's do let's do a crazy clown hair, and we're gonna start with blue. So go ahead and get your dark blue. Yeah. And we're gonna do the same the same thing that we did on the nose, but this time we're gonna do a little bit different. I'm gonna start with a really dark edge on one of his curls. Got it? And then as I get to the center, I'm gonna do this all at once, and I'm gonna get really light. Uh, yeah. This is the fun part about learning how to shade is controlling a really dark to getting really light over a certain distance. Good. Keep going. Awesome. Okay, now come to the next curl and do the same thing. Get really dark on the edge and then get lighter and lighter as you get to the center. And I'm going to go all the way around and finish this hair, okay? We can speed this up for our art friends. Right now. now. Almost done. Almost, Almost done. done. Stay on target. Good, you did it. Okay, now instead of using a white, we're going to use the light blue. So go ahead and switch to that light blue. And mine's getting really small, but I'm going to keep using it. We like to use all of our pastels, huh? Yeah. I'm going to take paper all the way off. I might not even use this. <laughs> and then we're going to go, we're going to come back in and go over top of the dark blue that we just did and blend it into his eyeball. You see how smooth that gets? Yeah. Isn't that cool? <laughs> That's what I love about oil pastels, man. They just look so cool after you blend them. Look so smooth. Yeah, really smooth. Good job. You did it. Okay, awesome. Should we do his eyeball? Yeah. Okay. All right, we're going to do his... So we're, we're not going to do the, probably the whole thing in the video, but we're showing little pieces, and then maybe we'll show it completely finished at the end. But... Let's move on to his eye, okay? Yeah. So we're gonna get this light blue, and we wanna make sure that we don't have any dark blue on it, so we'll just kinda of rub some of that off. And then we're gonna come back, okay, you ready? Yeah. All right, so now what we're gonna do is really light, because what color are eyeballs? Uh, really light. Just white. Really white, but we're going to add some shading so it makes his eye look round. So I'm doing, I'm not doing a dark line, I'm doing a really light line that goes around, around his eye. Got it? His eye's going to be covered right there. That's okay. Should I put black? <laughs> we, we could go back in after with black. So get your white and make sure that you don't have any other colors on it like red. Okay, with with the eye, we did this really light blue that went around the edge, huh? Mm -hmm. And this is so that we can make his eye look round, even though it's white. So we're gonna make it look shaded, and we're gonna use the white to blend that light blue so that it looks really, really smooth. 
that fun? The look at that, man. Get... Doesn't that look round? Yeah. The eyes get it all disappeared. <laughs> Look, now I didn't cut yeah <laughs> so you could get a little black and just put his eye back in if you want um, I didn't go all the way into the center I just kind of blended the light blue until it looked smooth there you go got his eye back in there cool all right should we do his mouth yeah okay the cool this this is gonna be fun now we're gonna use just regular red and we're gonna do something different with his mouth so color in red very dark all the way around make not it light like it's, just as dark as you can get it make it like it's super smooth yeah so super smooth we're not using a blender to like we did on the nose we didn't use what we're not going to use white we're just going to do solid solid red dark dark red Good job. Awesome, dude. You did it. Okay. Now put this down and we're going to use, we're going to use a uh, black Okay. and we're going to use it really light because you don't need to use a lot of black to get the effect. So right here where his mouth is kind of overlapping, we're going to make this look just a little darker right there. Good. And then we're going to come down here where the bow is and make it a little dark. And then as it comes up his lips, we're going to make it lighter. So this is just a little bit of shading. Now we're going to get the red back and go back over that black and blend it in. And this is a cool way to make a dark color look darker. That fun? Yeah. All right. Okay, cool. Now let's, we're going to do this a little bit more inside his mouth. So we'll color it in this side and this side. We'll speed it up, but we're going to do the same thing. Make it really, really, really dark with red. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Should we speed it up? Right. Right now. now. You did it. Okay, good job. All right, now let's get the black again and we're gonna practice this even more. So this inside of his mouth, look how it's light, but it looks like it's not inside his mouth, huh? It looks like it's actually in front of his lips because his lips are a little darker. So we're gonna go really, really light over the red. You don't have to go very dark because we still want it to look red. We just want it to look like a darker red. Okay. Once you get that, get your red again. It'll be really, really light. That's probably good. Okay, and then get your red, and we're gonna go back over that black just to blend it in and make it look smooth again. Big chunk of black. Yeah. <laughs> now I'm gonna do it a little bit more up here at the top of his lips. I'm gonna do kind of dark and come down and get lighter as it comes down and then go back over it. That's, that's also a nice technique that you can do with oil pastels. You can just keep going back and forth. So if you're like, oh, it's not quite dark enough, I'm gonna do a little more black right here up at the top. There we go. And then come back with the red and smooth it out again. Oh, it's not quite. You can bring up the black again. Awesome. All right. Okay, now let's do another part of his body. This is going to be the last part that we're going to show our art friends, and then we'll we'll finish coloring it, and then we'll show them, we'll show you guys what it looks like at the end. But this thing, so we've done a dark color with, oh, let's see. We've done a color with white and a color with white to blend. We've done a dark color with a lighter color to blend, and we've done a dark color with a black to blend. This time we're gonna use two different colors to blend. We're gonna do an orange. Actually, I'm gonna use this orange, and I'm gonna use one of these yellows. So you got your orange there, and we're gonna do the shirt, and this is this is really cool because this kind of makes his, this is gonna make his shirt look like it's a little bit like it's on fire. It's just gonna look really cool. Oh, broke that off. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to do the same thing we've been doing with all the other um, parts of the clown. 
And that is, we're going to do a dark uh, line that goes around and traces his shirt. Okay. The jaw. And then I'm going to come on the inside and do the same thing, Trace, but I'm not going to do the whole thing. I'm just going to do inside. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do right under his bow, and this is going to make it look like there's a shadow under his bow, and then a shadow under his suspenders, okay? Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to come back over and finish this side too. You got it? I got that dark line going all the way around. Almost. Almost there. Almost there. Stay on target. <laughs> Okay, now come back and we're going to do what we did on this on the nose, do a really light line right next to that dark line. And this is going to look like it's already starting to shade a little bit. Okay, got that? Now we're going to use our yellow. Doing awesome, man. You're doing really good. So I even do do a light inside of his sleeves or his arms. Good. You did it. Okay, now get the yellow. And we're going to do what we've been doing, and that's just blend it. But this time we're using a different color to blend with. And you get kind of the same effect, but a little bit different. This one I think is really cool because... It makes it look like he's got a fancy shirt on or something. <laughs> Changes colors. And then blend in that orange. And it still looks like he's shaded, huh? I'm going to come back here. This is a little too yellow. The orange and build over it. Layer it. And then come back with the yellow. Look at that. That's awesome. <laughs> is that really cool yeah so so we used again we used a dark color with a light a light color a light color with white a dark color with white a dark color with dark and then we also did a orange or with a yellow or a different color to blend cool huh mm -hmm. should we finish it yeah all right let's finish it all right dude look at your clown that's awesome huh I like how he looks so 3D. So we did a couple, We what we did was just finish the clown, huh? And we used a lot of all the same stuff that we talked about in the beginning of the video, we used throughout for the other parts of his body. So like what we did on his eye, we did on his, on his gloves. And then right here on his pants, we did a lot of the same stuff that we did in his hair, huh? And we also added a little, I added a little bit of black, like what we did in his mouth to shade his mouth. Mine's all messy. It's all right. It's fun to get messy, huh? Yeah. <laughs> we, don't, we don't get very messy when we draw with our Sharpies, but it's fun to do it once in a while with our oil pastels. Was that cool? Yeah. You, did you have fun? Yeah. You promise? Yeah. <laughs> We hope you guys had fun coloring your clowns and be sure to take a picture of it and post it where? On our club? My art at, wait, artforkidshub.club. Yeah, artforkidshub.club. We want to see how cool your clowns turned out and how colorful you made them. Should we say goodbye? Bye, art friends. See you later, art friends. Hong goodbye. Honk, honk, honk. Oh, you